Hey there guys, this is Silent Mist, and welcome back to the Dungecraft server. In this part, I am waiting for this rolling machine to make me my iron plates, so I can have plenty of this iron stuff for this crazy thing that we're going to be making. Oh, so crazy. Let's just arrange this stuff right now before I make myself, before I embarrass myself. Okay, so we'll just have that go right there, and this is slowly making progress, very slowly. Uh, let's see. We're gonna need some more iron, though, because we are almost out. Good old rolling machine. I I do need a lot of these iron plates, though, because we need to make this, like, iron tank thing. And, well, yeah, we, we need... <laughs> In order for us to do that, we need iron. Imagine that. And let me just I move around my inventory. I had to shovel things around. Uh, I want to say we need to place the pink portal. And, hmm, either we made the wrong choice or, oh, neither of the portals would have worked. Uh, actually, I don't know. I do not know. Let's just run on down here to central, well, not even central storage, uh, bulk storage, or a bulk, sto ouch, a bulk storage. And we can just put a portal down right there and grab a bunch of of iron where is that going grab a few more don't know why it's flying all over the place but as you can see we we don't really have a good way of getting to or fro from upper levels to lower levels as of right now that'll probably change in the future but for now we'll have to live with taking these portals to get up and down in the future once why isn't this rolling Weird. Oh. I don't know. This thing, it seems a little... Why is it put going in there? Weird game. You're being so strange. I don't like it when you're like that game. I don't like you like that. Come on. So yeah, I've actually got something to talk about today, guys. Imagine that. Something to talk about in a video. So, this more has to do with how things have been... Things on my channel that are really starting to irk me. And so this is going to be a little bit more of a slightly serious more serious topic and it really has to do with how people are responding to others in the comments and it really is starting to get out of hand and quite annoying so people have been these all provisors now people you know people leave first comments and you know it's fine i'm not the biggest fan of them I don't really particularly like them, but I don't hate them. A comment is a comment, and heck, every time I see a new comment, it's like, time to read it. But a lot of people don't feel the same way. A lot of people are very apprehensive towards people who say the first, or say first in a video. And I can sort of see why, but it's really starting to get quite out of hand. So, the biggest thing is people are starting to throw around insults when they are saying first, which is why. I mean, if you don't like what someone's writing in the comments, just ignore them. Don't, don't like, be a jerk about it. And what happens when we just had two of these? What is that? Low pressure boiler. Let's, wait, what do we need? We need iron tank walls, which is just four of them. Iron plates. This is an iron plate is, you know, whatever. Iron tank wall. And we can just take out stack of that we'll make a slight larger one than that so yeah it's starting to get a little out of hand in the comments and really if if you don't like a comment just don't respond to it don't go and insult the person who wrote the comment that's just stupid yeah rant over very short rant over it eh. yeah it's just been bugging me because it's starting to get more and more out of hand so if you guys watching the video are proactive and whatnot you can totally like help fix this problem by help to fix this problem by not posting such inflammatory comments i guess yeah i really don't want to start like banning people in the comments i rarely have ever had to do that and it's not something that i particularly want to do it's just you guys gotta not do that stuff because it's quite obnoxious Okay, now, now the rant is over. And now we are back to making this stuff. 
Um, uh, yeah, it seems like enough to get us started. Uh, I feel a burp coming along. Nope, not happening. And yeah, so my voice, it's been very, very weird over the last couple of days. I'm really not sure what's going on, but it is not being a good voice, no siree. It is just... Oh, wait, I need some of this tank gauge stuff. Uh, glass panes and four of that stuff? Wait, did, four of what stuff? Four of the iron plates. Okay, we can, we can totally work with this. Okay, we need some glass planes. Planes, yes, glass planes. Panes, which are located outdoors, and then we can just roll up some more stuff. I think that was way more than we needed. We're only going to need, like, a couple stacks at the most. Uh, boo, boo And one, two, three. That'll be far more than enough. We don't even need to worry about that much stuff. Let's just head on down here. And we can start crafting to our heart's content. So, let's see. Let's just throw this in here. And then, boop, 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 boo. One, two, three stacks, four stacks. That'll be more than enough. And then just get rid of this stuff. Oh, God. And do that. And then we just need the iron plates. We're going to need a few more. Good thing we have plenty of them. Ah! We have plenty of them just rolling up right now. And grab those. And grab... No, oh, why doesn't this go into your inventory? Why does this... Ah! Wrench, come back. Why does this... Why does this mess up? Okay, so a couple of people have been actually, like, giving suggestions for the base security system, and they're saying that I should use Greg Tech wires because they, uh, apparently can carry a current of four times extreme voltage, which is 8,096 EU per tick. Uh, there's only one problem with this. We don't have Greg Tech on the server. We are using Direwolf's pack, and Direwolf's pack does not include Greg Tech. What am I doing? Um... No, wait, I had that right, so... Oh, God, what am I trying to do? There we go. Yeah, so that's not going to be an option, unfortunately. That would be cool, having Greg Tech on here, but uh, don't think that's going to be the case, because, well, there, there are very few things in it that we'd actually end up using, and, yeah. We're, we're just going to stick with Vanilla Direwolf, but... I, my jaw did kind of drop when I heard that it can discharge quantum armor and then pretty much kill you instantly. Uh, pretty much right now, the most powerful thing that I know of is the, the, uh, the, the, the high energy pellet launcher that will bring you down to half a heart instantly if you're in quantum armor, although it doesn't kill you. That's something that I've got to figure out how to remedy. Because if you are in quantum armor, I want you dead if you're in my base. Just kidding. Or am I? Okay, so we have that. And then we're going to need... What is it? Tank. And then the tank valve, which... Ooh, that's an interesting recipe. Okay, do we have iron bars? We do. Then we need a lever. So, iron bars. We're going to need to make an iron fence. Or a few. Let's just grab out a full stack. Make that two full stacks, and then we can make ourselves some levers as soon as we get some sticks, which I'd assume I have a few in here. Hmm, maybe I have a wooden pickaxe in there. Guys, don't worry, I'm set with all of the tools that we'll ever need. Oh, a couple more levers. And let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, this stuff. Yeah, that'll be more than enough for what we're going to need. We don't need too many of these. Oh, we could have made one more. And just throw that right in there. Put those in the middle. And then this right here. And finally... Man, there is no space in this crafting table for any of this stuff. And finally that. Oh, I messed up. These are probably alternated. There we go. Get a few of those. 40 of them, more than enough. I just need a place to store... Lots of creosote oil, because I would like to hook up the coke, or get the coke engine, the coke engine, the, uh, this thing over here, the, the, the coke ovens, to, uh, start working soon, 
because they are quite the necessity. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not really sure how big you can make these. Let's try seven by seven. It's gonna be just a little large. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, that's gigantic. Oh, we need to put this down in the floor because it just, it does not look nice how it is. Oh, so a couple of people told me that I had like some enchants that really didn't belong on my Vajra, on my, oh, text, on my Vajra because uh, like haste and fiery aura, those are actually armor enchants. I just looked at the long list of enchants and saw things, and then I went to the creative world, tested out what can I, what I can put on it, and guess what? Those were some enchants that I could stick on it, so little, whoops, looks like we spent a little bit of time putting stuff on the wrong stuff. I'm going to need to get that stuff onto my armor, though, because that would be some nifty stuff to have there. And let's see what we can make. Oh, God, that portal gun is so loud. But yeah. A text was from a certain special someone. If you see her in the comments, give her a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, so let's see. I think, I hope we can have this next to a wall without, let's, shall we just double check this? Does this need to, yeah. As you can hear, I'm like extraordinarily congested and I don't know why. Am I sick? I really hope not because I do not want to be sick. Being sick is not fun. And I am all about having fun, and dang it, I cannot place these blocks for the life of me. Get out, get out, and please give me these iron tank walls for my inventory. Okay, so this will be able to show us if we can or cannot have this touching the wall. And then we can just have this cool little thing right here. Boop, and a boop. Is this, is this a tank? I don't think this is a tank. Okay, let's build this off of the wall and put a little gap in between the wall and the actual device. Not what I wanted to do, but I guess it's better than nothing. So we'll just tear two blocks out from here and we'll make it five by five. Oh God, that's five by four, five by five. And now we can just do this. Right now, right, right. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and right over here. This thing is gonna be not as gigantic as I wanted it to be, but certainly large enough to hold any amounts of stuff that were, well, I don't think we're gonna get this much creosote oil, but it'll be future-proofing us at the very least. Okay, so. We will have the valve on the top, I guess. Um, let's see. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two. Boop, boop, and a boop. And maybe, no, we'll have it on the side. Mm, how do we want to do this? I want it to look cool, so I want to have the the gauge so we can actually see inside of it. And we'll do this, and then we'll have two valves right here. And then we'll have a nice big old wall right here. I hope you can just make this look however the hell you want it to look. That'd be cool. I don't think there's a design you have to follow in order for this to turn into a tank. But I am hoping that it'll look pretty darn cool, because this is a design that I am liking so far. Do that, 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 and that. And finally, the last side. Come on, turn into a tank. It didn't turn into a tank. Hmm. This, I don't know how, how these work. Oh no. I feel like I'm being judged. Uh, let's do this. Oh, it might be because it's underground. Ooh. Oh, we didn't screw that up, did we? This this isn't going to cause us to have to, like, tear out the entire thing, is it? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Put that back. One, two. Hmm. Oh, right here. And it's still not a tank. Do you have to, like, right-click it? How the heck do you make a tank? Let's... When in doubt, Google... 
Uh, let's see. Tanks. Uh, Creosote. I don't actually know what part of the mod. Iron tanks. Let's see. Oh, no. Come back. Come back, Google. Iron tanks. Railcraft iron tank device. Okay. We have got this. Wait. I do have it. This is a 5x5. Five five. And... Any combination of wall, gauge, and valve. Yep, I did that. Why is it not working? Hmm. We're not missing a block anywhere, are we? No, this looks pretty... Pretty darn solid. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Why the heck can't I? Why can't I do that? Why why aren't these working? That that this this should work. Oh, there's the problem. Herp derp derp pity derp. Look at me just being silly. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> You're probably yelling at me for a minute. There we go. Now it's all tankish, isn't it? Yep, it's an it's a tank now. How nice is that? Uh, we can actually make this a block taller, I think. Um, yeah, let's make this a block taller. We can just rip out the ceiling and make it slightly taller. Uh, how do we want to... I'm just trying to think of the design. I want it to look nice. And I'm still marveling at the fact at just how quickly this thing tears through everything, although I'm pretty sure that the Efficiency 5 is actually quite useless as an enchant because... This thing is already so absurdly quick that... Does it really matter? The world may never know. But yeah, it does say that we can make this one block taller, so we will, in fact, make this two blocks taller. We can just actually merge this with the roof. Because why the heck not? And I just hear my battery and my jetpack dying. Let me let me use the silk it up, because this is just a little bit slower yet still pretty darn fast, and it uses a heck of a lot less power. Okay, now this is the test of the tanks. Does this actually work? Only, only you guys will know, because as far as I know, no one else has a base that is exactly, is it, blech. I cannot talk, that is exactly like mine. Okay, so we'll fill in the corners, the rest of it's going to be glass, and... I think I done goofed. Do that. We'll have two inputs right here. Maybe three. Hmm. How do we want to do this? I want to have it so we can hook up a bunch of engines so we can easily pull through all of this stuff. But how do we want to actually configure this to looking to make it look nice? Uh, let's see. Oh, this needs to be a block taller. As does this silly me. Don't even know how to build my own creations. Oh, this looks mighty fine. This is going to hold so much creosote oil. It's going to be just nothing short of joy for railcraft. Oh, yeah. You see that joy. See that joy already starting to exist. Oh. Uh, let me just quickly, quickly respond to that text that I just got and have fun, exclamation point. That is not an exclamation point. That is a comma. And there we go. Back to, back to this video. Sending texts during the middle of my videos. Aren't I just super professional, guys? You should... Use me as a role model and therefore always know that texting when doing important things is the best way to go around doing things. I am lying, of course. Don't text and drive. That would be dangerous. Public server can, bleh, public service announcement from the Drewster 569 slash silent mystification is now over. Huh. <laughs> and let's see. Fill this in. Ugh, I hate how Feed the Beast does that sometimes. It's just like, you're not tall enough to actually reach, but we'll let you try. We'll put the block there, and then we'll just make it disappear. And there we go. 
And that looks mighty fine once again. Except we're going to need to tear it out. Tear these four out. Oh, that looks awful. And let's just go grab those because I don't want to waste them because they're iron. Even though we have just absolutely absurd amounts of iron, I am still a little conservative with it just because I'm paranoid like that. But yeah, now you can see inside the tank. We just need to have the stuff running into here, into these four, and then we can just, yeah. Let me go grab some engines and some other stuff. I hope I have these in an easy to access area because I don't know where I put them if I didn't put them in this chest right here. Uh, good, we have the engines and we have the liquidux. Good old liquidux. Excuse me. Okay, so let's head on over here. We can have the four things hooked up. I hope this is how this... I don't know how liquidux work, actually. Uh, I don't know if I need an engine on these. Well, we'll see. We will see momentarily. I don't even know if we need to have four of these as an input just to prevent any sort of bottlenecking, but I figure why not? It'll look kind of cool like that, even if it is wasteful. Ah! These things do not connect nicely. Uh, oh. do 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 and I think we supposed to, we're supposed to use this. The heck do you break this? Vadra, it's time for your time to shine. There we go. Time for you to shine. And then we can just run this over here. And now we just need to start burning stuff. And this thing can only burn coal and logs. So we can't actually incinerate the the old things so it would seem like we're gonna have to recycle all of that crap that we do not need which is quite a bit of crap if you ask me and let's see what can we get rid of we can get rid of these two torches and we can get rid of these two pieces of cobblestone anything else nope let's see how this coal coke thing works so we're gonna have to pump in coal and pump out the coal coke so we'll stick in half a stack into each of these. There we go. Oh, I'm getting a little bit of lag. And let's see exactly how this thing starts pumping out the stuff or if it does pump out any of the stuff because I don't know if it does. I think we're going to have to leave this sitting for a while. We'll have to come back to this. That's a lot. That's 2.8 2 million buckets worth of creosote oil is what we'll be able to store in here. That's just a lot of it. Hopefully we won't ever run into a problem where this thing is too full, although I really don't think we're ever going to have that much stuff. That would be a little scary if we did. But yeah, so I'm going to leave this running for now. Uh, yeah, this isn't even anywhere near close to doing anything so yeah i'm gonna leave this running i will check back in a while but for now i think we're gonna actually end off the part here so guys i do hope that you enjoyed this part in the next one we will see whether or not what i've done works uh if i did it wrong you guys are probably gonna tell me in the comments it's just like drew what are you doing that's not right please fix it i don't love you anymore goodbye unsubscribe hate mail uh, yeah Please don't do that. That that would be that would be a little unfortunate for the, for me. For now, though, I hope that I did do this right. And yeah, see you all later. Goodbye, voice. Please stop dying. See you later.